What's up guys, uh, welcome back. This is your boy Gia Adam Slink. How you guys doing as usual? Support your boy, like this video, comment, share it on all streaming platforms. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Slink. And make sure you subscribe and uh, click the bell notification to get updates anytime, any day I upload. And also good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. So guys, uh, you already saw the the title of this video and uh, of course you saw uh shatawale border boy nigeria uh stone boy and the rest well of course you already know shatawale is a star yes he's trying he's in ghana is actually trying and you guys already do if shatawale do not mention anything like ninja of course you know i won't say anything now, Shatawale made a video yesterday. I told you someone like Shatawale is somebody you cannot trust as a friend. Because whenever you do anything wrong, or whenever you do anything that is not okay with him, he will immediately come online to blast you. But grown-up men are supposed to pick up the phone and be like, you know what, hello my guy, how are you day? Please see what you did, and I was I'm not okay with it. I just want to clarify it and uh, let you understand why I'm not okay with it. That's what grown up men will do. But someone like Shatawale will come online. Bra 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 bra. Of course, you guys love Shatawale. A lot of you guys. It's understandable. No one can force you not to like, and no one you cannot force someone not to like that person uh, to like that person as well. We are all individuals with different things, and of course, individuals to choose whoever they want to relate with or not relate with. So, this guy recently made videos uh, about Shatawale, Bono Boy, and actress Jackie. And he was talking something about NLA. So, I'm going to play you the videos though. But let me read a few of the comments he made about some, uh, uh, some of all those artists. Firstly, he said that uh, he loved Bono Boy. No, firstly, he said, Stone Boy, in real life, you don't have sense at all. <laughs> he says, says Stone Boy, in real life, you do not have sense. And don't forget the fight between Shatawale and Stone Boy, few years ago or about a year or two two years or three years ago before uh, some boys in the industry did their work and uh, they reconciled stone boy and shatterwally now stone boy is sitting down on his own or supporting whatever he's supporting and shatterwally is not okay with that now he's saying stone boy no get sense in real life imagine now uh -huh. imagine if now you you go take him but Shatawale is Shatawale and uh, he thinks he can say whatever he wants to people. He thinks he can do whatever he wants to people. And don't forget, Stoneboy even came out that time there was uh, this battle between Nigeria versus Ghana. Stoneboy, while giving his opinion, said that Shatawale is not entirely wrong. He even supported Shatawale. You know, and there's this thing about constructive speaking. Try as much as possible to know how to talk. Me, myself, people leave comments under my video and say, be like, Adam Slink, you don't know how to talk at all. Well, you know, uh, I do not know Shatawale uh, personally. If not, I would, of course, Shatawale would be like, boy, you Dave F up. Stop effing up. To me, but... I do not know Shatawale face to face, personally. He also said something about. Uh, he also said something about Bono Boy. He said, "You guys cause confusion between me and Bono Boy, but he doesn't know how much I love him." Exactly. That is exactly what we are talking about. You love Bono Boy, but uh, because Bono Boy no one rule with you anymore, that's why you are feeling some certain hurt. But do not expect you to say call out Nigeria entertainment industry and don't and expect Bono Boy not to talk. No one is constant confusion. Later I will say 
uh, bloggers are causing confusion, people are co fans are causing confusion between himself and Stoneboy. Meanwhile, is the one talking ish again. Well, uh, this is a junction that I would love to play you this video now. So let me play, guys. I don't blame anybody, but I'll still come back to my Ghana artists where they won't be like Nigerian artists, where they can never be like Nigerian artists. Because Nigerian artists have snow, say Ghana artists, you, you full pass. Ghana celebrities, you, you, you full pass. Nigeria celebrities, no, say Ghana celebrities, you, you, you full pass. Because when you see opportunity, you don't see it. Greed, hunger, poverty, guess. Where day you put your family inside? You won't take them small people, they're my generation. That's why rich people you celebrities. So, so cheap dress, cheap life. Hungry life. Somebody there, sometimes, uh, sometimes I there, I see you like, I talk to you many times, many times, any way, anyhow. But you see, sometimes a man won't can't talk like, in, in pair where you get family, in pair where they take care of himself, in pair. My brother, I make I tell you something. Most of the things you do will be yawa. Most of the things where you do will be yawa. You will say the right English. You will say no English. You will... You, you, I don't know if you pass English for... I saw your English, you will be cassava English. Cassava, yaka, yaka English. Bobo bo, bo English. One man thousand English. I swear. Because you just... They, they want to show people say you get sense. But see, in real life, when it comes to reality, you are not sensible at all. Or you know she say gaming commission ban celebrities from endorsing deals like that. You, you know see. You, you know see. So if something like this way they call you, you know to chitan actually, this thing people won't make you can't do make you can't support them. You can support Lotto Fording. Lotto Fording like that. Like Lotto Fording, what do you mean by Lotto Fording? Eh? What no, what do you mean by Lotto Fording? You are defrauding the country. Don't come and use some words on us. You want us to fight out of frauding? We should. But this guy is uh, angry over uh, endorsement. That he thinks that uh, celebrities in Ghana should have been supporting. So that is the whole rant here. Endorsement made they no call you for. I don't understand. I don't understand this kind of life of living life that con that doesn't consign you. You are calling out people who are actually living that life. You are so so pissed about the way they are living their life and the deals they are signing, and you are going after them. Not only that, uh also Jackie, I trust Jackie, of course you guys know the girl now. He also said I trust Jackie na to to work. Nah, she did do. Forget yourself, they and they respect you. I see the picture you won't try paint give female actresses and whatever. Stop it. Stop it. Because people know what you are doing in Ghana. Stop it. How many was it? When was the last time you did a movie that sold one million dollars? Because you always want people to know that you are living a life because you have left. Hey, there are actresses who they suffer. How? The actresses the way they suffer. The total work no, we know. The total work. The total work no, we know. Total works. Bad one. If total they work like that, bad one, we will be 10 gay. If me are 10 gay, you know how many things I will be get? May they chop my ass and give me something small. May they chop my ass and give me something small. Bad man. Total works, we know. Total works, they go for Canada. They're total works. Don't come and behave and pretend you're a celebrity. A celebrity lives a life that is of a celebrity. Check what a who a celebrity is, is in America or in Europe. Any small cheap thing. Any so at least he can know the meaning of a celebrity, but uh, about himself, he doesn't know how a celebrity should behave. He doesn't know that a celebrity is the person who mind his business. Keep your mouth shut. Don't <laughs> does it consign you? Do not talk. You see, uh, it's crazy though. Well, I don't know. I don't know the genesis. I do not know the real fact about all those things, but. All I know is that as long as he's calling out other celebrities, is entirely wrong on social media. Even if 
Because what he's discussing about, Stoneboy never called this guy, Jackie never called this guy, and most importantly, Nigeria never ever mentioned this guy's name. He should remove Nigeria's Nigeria name from his lips. That's just all I want. Because I will continue, continue to talk about, like, to always talk about him, like, man, Shada Wally, stop talking about Nigeria. That is just the bottom line. Round two, where whatever round you want to run, but do not mention the name Nigeria or mention any Nigeria artist. Just focus on Ghana alone. Blast, blast two boy if you want to blast two boy. Blast Jackie if you want to blast Jackie. Whatever, who you, whoever you want to, but do not mention Nigeria. And I hardly even understand what he's saying. Really, really, really makes I hardly do not understand what he's saying. Well, wishing him all the best, though, and uh, I think he seriously needs some milk to chill down a little bit, or maybe that uh, his, his girlfriend is not by himself currently, because that guy need to go back and start doing a lot of work on this guy. Calm him down. Calm him down. And also to end this video, check out uh, Rocha's or Kurocha his speech some of his speech or those just just a small a little clip of what he said about you know he he's uh he want to run for president coming 2023 and uh this is what he said please permit me to be your pilot for the new nigeria that i might pilot this aircraft of the new nigeria to his destiny and save arrival to destination. I understand as I take off with this plane, as your pilot, there might be some few turbulences. Don't worry, nothing to worry about. Captain Rochas is in command. You create a minister of happiness again. Well, everybody's coming out to show himself now. He's actually good. Eh? Come and tell us what you can do for us. Tell us, tell us. But a lot of formats these politicians have used before. We have, we are tired of the format. We need new, new format. Tell us what you can do for us. So let's listen to another one. I'm not a candidate of rotation. Neither am I a candidate of rotation or zoning. I'm a candidate of justice. Maybe the Southeast or the South has not been able to present their matter very well before the rest of Nigeria. I'm sure if you tell to a Muslim, a northerner, and say to him, remember my friend, my friends from the North, and my brothers of the Muslim Umar, that remember that the principal cardinal point upon which Islam is built is justice. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam acknowledge the fact that in Quran chapter 16 verse 19 he says inna Allah yagmur bil adil wa ihi saying verily God commands justice and fairness It's for this reason that I think Nigerians may not know that at this crucial point, when zones have attempted the presidency of Nigeria, and when it feels like it's a turn for the Southeast, a northerner will come out. He's simply saying to the Yibos, who are you? That's the feeling. Or a Southwest, our brother from the Southwest will come. I want to be a president. You should not be. He simply said to Ibos, Who are you? We must never do that so that children yet unborn may not feel that they're not part of this country. It's on the, on the basis of justice that I speak for this to give Ibos a sense of belonging. Other than that, I qualify to run with anybody who cares to run. But where that is not possible, we can shave that. But I appeal to my party, the APC. They should allow a play level ground. And you both must understand that the power is not given, power is taken. You must go out and reach out to people as you speak.
And you're going to say power because no one will give you power. But let justice reign. When all this is done, ladies and gentlemen, as I declare to run for the office of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, come 2022. Honestly, I love the way he, he actually, uh, his chemistry, most especially the way he, uh, he quotes a verse in Quran. Okay, Orocha, so Korocha, well, I'm actually really happy the way you talked, but uh, we may give you a chance to, to run this Nigeria. So, hopefully. Thank you guys for watching. It's a boy, Adam Sling. Have a wonderful day.